Now, this video will talk about how we make predictions from regression equations. So this is really one of the main reasons that we do regression. We often are trying to predict something that's hard data to collect. And so if we're able to make predictions on something, that's a good attribute. So if we measure easy things, we can predict hard to measure things. But it's important to know that regression equations should really only be used to make predictions about the population from which the sample is drawn. And so I urge you to be careful when making predictions when you use regression. And so in science, this is really why it's so important to read the study area sections of the methods. And so if you're interested in using a regression equation that was published in a paper, say, uh, using or investigating the same variables that you're interested in, I encourage you to read that study area section uh, and read about how the data were collected before you go and use the equations. The study error will often say something about where the data were collected, how the data were collected, what kind of quality assurance the data went through. It'll also say something about the population. It might say something about the sample size, how many trees were uh, sampled, how many fish were weighed, depending on the variables that, that you're interested in. Another thing that's important when we use regression equations is to be important uh, and be recognizing that we should not extrapolate with our regression equation. That is to say, if your data were collected in a certain area, you don't want to go applying that regression equation to areas where it hasn't been tested or that are completely outside of the range of the, of the place where the data were originally collected and the regression equation was originally developed. And so we need to be cautious with extrapolation. And finally, we just learned quite a bit about regression, but it's kind of like we just jumped into regression and completely forgot about hypothesis tests. You might be asking yourself, well, couldn't we test all of our variables in the data set that we might collect? We could set a null hypothesis that all of the variables are equal, that is mu1 equals mu2 equals all the way up to mu t, if we had t number of observations, you might think that, you know, we could do hypothesis tests that, that do that. However, the real value of regression is that it treats the data as quantitative and not necessarily as treatments, say A, B, and C uh, treatments. And so this is the real value of regression is that we can work with quantitative data to say something about the populations that we're interested in.